What's so funny, TSM? <laughs> It's the makeup nurse, you better fix your ways. The makeup nurse, she about to fix your face. It's the makeup nurse, you better fix your ways. It's the makeup nurse, she about to fix your face. The makeup nurse, 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 the makeup nurse. It's the makeup nurse, you better fix your ways. The makeup nurse. She bout to fix your face, it's the makeup nurse you better fix yeah. your ways. It's the makeup nurse She bout to fix your face, makeup I'm back! Welcome back to my channel, The Struggle is Real with the Makeup Nurse. Today is Sun and Saturday, and it's First Responders Day, so thank you to all the first responders. Trick or Treat Day. Internal Medicine Day, Chocolate Day, and Make a Difference Day. We're going to go in with one of my favorites, the Thayer's Facial Toner, which hazel coconut water scented toner. It's so refreshing, especially this early morning. Just have that refresh. Okay, we're gonna use the Kiwi Superfood Cooling Eye Serum. It's supposed to have a little bit of a grapefruit scent, but I don't ever smell it. And then let's go in with this Peach Eye Heart Revolution Lip Oil. Supposed to smell like peaches. I'm not smelling it today. Here, then we're gonna go in with the Earth Harbor Celestine Hydro Plumping Peptide Serum, seaweed peptides, and hyaluronic acid. It's like a fresh seaweed, like an ocean scent. I think so anyway, unless I'm hallucinating. Okay, then we're gonna use the Don't Hate Hydrate Moisturizer by Sugar Rush. And it has like a citrusy, refreshing scent. I love like a citrus scent. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and do a brow oil. Uh, this is the I Heart Revolution Tasty Coconut Brow Oil. It smells like coconut. I always do this after my foundation, and since it's an oil, I feel like it could lift some of my foundation. So we're going to remember to do it now. Okay, we're going to use this CoverGirl chocolate scented um, palette, and it says Chocoholic. And it doesn't give really any um, names on it, so let's go ahead and get started with, let's do this shade here.
do then, let's go in with this shade right here. Put that in the middle. Let's go in with, um, uh, let me figure out. Okay, let's go in with this shade here and just kind of blend. Oh, that's a little darker. Oh my gosh, I just ruined this look. We'll fix it though. We'll fix it. Let's go in with, well, we'll go in with this for now, this white shade, and just kind of blend it. Okay, good enough for right now, and we'll take, um, Go back in with this shade here and let's kind of define everything. It's too early in the morning for this. And no coffee. <laughs> All right. And then let's go in with. Back in with this shade and kind of blend. Let's use this Ofra Cool as a Cucumber Primer. And it does smell like cucumbers. It smells pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna, the yeah, end, I'm gonna have to fix my eyes. They look a little crazy today. That's okay. All right, then we're going to use that Morphe foundation again. Where did it go? All right, found it. Hopefully it doesn't go squirting all over again. Last time, because it's almost out. And this is the Morphe F110 matte and it does at least mine has a chemical scent but um, some other people said that they have this and it doesn't really s theirs don't smell and it's supposed to be fragrance free mine is just a bad batch I think but with all the lawsuit stuff going on and bankruptcy and, you know, and they um, did, you know, with all the Jaclyn Hill stuff with her lipsticks and being in, um, having hair and stuff in the, um, her lipsticks and Morphe, like, owned her or whatever you want to call it. So I'm sure they used the same lab. So you never know. I've never watched any of that. You know, I didn't even know who Jacqueline Hill was. 
but I watch um, Jen Love and I get the 411 on everybody through her. I don't have to watch it. I don't have time to watch anybody else, so I just watch her. Okay, I have the Morphe concealer. This doesn't have a big, big scent. It just smells like makeup a little bit, but a little bit more than most concealers. So I'm going with that. And where's my little blemish up here? They're starting to go away, which is a good thing. Because who wants blemishes? Okay, I'll fix my concealer here in a minute, but we're going to go in with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation infused with peach and sweet fig cream for bronzer. So we have to darken this up. Darken this face up. I think it kind of smells like the fig in this peach. But my scent, if you watch me, no, I lost it a couple of years ago due to the virus. And it took over a year to get it back. And now it's like, I feel like it's screwy with me sometimes. <sighs> I have a busy day today at work. Oh my gosh, that looks like it is Halloween, you guys. My eyes are so dark, and then I have it's so white on my face. But we will make this, we'll fix all this. Um, <laughs> I'd be like, Jamie, what happened to you? I know you haven't been getting any sleep, but geesh. Okay, so that looks a little better with the contour and some um, color to that. All right, let's go in with the Flower Beauty Gel Crush. And this raspberry crush. I don't have any chocolate. Blushes, so scented blushes. So we'll go with that. And then we're going to go in with the Morphe by Maddie Ziegler liquid foundation or er, highlight. It smells like vanilla. And it gives a slight glow okay now that we're done with the cream products let me go in with this concealer brush and kind of blend that in 
a little bit closer to my eyeball. Well, not well. It is closer to my eyeball too, but okay. Now it's blended in a little bit better. All right, now let's go in with powder. And because I just have it here, I'm just going to go in with this iHeart Revolution Banana Powder and set my face. It's supposed to smell like banana, but I don't smell it anymore. We're going to go in with this scented um, essence brush um, for my T-zone. And we're going to use the coconut one from iHeart Revolution. It's supposed to smell like coconut. Ooh, I kind of think I smell it. And this is supposed to smell like coffee. But I don't smell the coffee anymore. I think the coffee's scent is gone. I've had it for a while. It was $5 off of Amazon, so... But right now I can't buy nothing, so. Let's get my nose. set around here okay we're gonna go in with this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil it smells like chocolate Where's my other brush? Okay. Let's blend this in. This one is a little bit darker for me, so. I tried to go a little bit lighter, light handed on it. My daughter makes these um, headbands, and so then, you know, when she has extra fabric, she makes me stuff and um, it's really nice though too because she um, customs it to my head and, um, so if you're interested let me know you know where I'm at <laughs> okay well, let's use this hard candy blush it smells like strawberry. And then let's go in with this cookie highlighter. 
Oh, I forget what this is supposed to smell like. I can't. I can't make it out. Is it coconut? I can't tell. It's kind of light. Alright, let's go in with this green shade actually for below our eyes. And I'll probably mix with the, some of the other shade I had on it. But that's okay. Okay, let's blend this out. Go in with our brows. The oh, that's the wrong one. The Too Faced Chocolate Brownie Brow. It smells like brownies. Make, seem to make this eye like more of the wing and this one it's not as much so I feel like I have to go further on my brows I gotta get better at it okay because that palette doesn't really have much highlight and we are got a really dark eye today I'm gonna use this highlight and try to blend the top and then our inner corners This CoverGirl um, Lash Blast um, Primer kind of smells. Maybe it's old, I don't know. But it's like, got like a chemically scent. And I don't know if it used to have that. But it still works. And, and I don't have very many lash primers, but the reason why I still have this, and it's been forever, I always forget to put primer on my eyelashes. I mean, it's not like it almost smells like this Morphe concealer, like that. It's not like as bad as the foundation, but anyway, so we're gonna go with it. But then we're gonna go in with this 100% pure, 100% 100 pure Maracuja oil mascara. It's like coconut. This might not be like the best performing mascara. I mean, but it does well. I like it. And now it goes on my lashes and how it performs. But I love it because it's got that coconut scent. It smells so good. So because of that, this is one of my favorites. Okay, we're going to use this Stila um, shade in Caramello. It almost smells like chocolate, so that's why. I chose this one. It 
smells so good. Okay, for setting spray, we're going to use the Mario Badesco um, facial spray with aloe, cam chamomile, and lavender. So let's. Oh, I smell the lavender. Okay, now we're going to use this Lustrous Pink Shea Butter Coconut Oil Leave In Conditioner. my hair and it smells oh just touch my nose with it take off some of my makeup right <laughs> it smells like the coconut okay this is drying so I'm gonna use the blossom I'm infused with real flowers moisturizing lip gloss oh wow there's a bunch I don't smell it. That doesn't mean anything. Okay, now we're going to use the Hand Headstrong Volume Hair Spray with Bamboo and Australian Cockadoo Plum. I love the smell of this. And I have to do this so my hair doesn't get too frizzy throughout the day. And then I am going to use the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Spray. And then I used this secret um, deodorant, it's a gel, and in the shape of scent, Cozy Vanilla. And before work, I used this Aromatherapy Stress Relief Eucalyptus and Spearmint. It smells so, um, it does smell relaxing. I do like that. So I've been using it before <laughs> on my hands too. Um, hopefully relax me. All right, you guys, I'm sorry for such a long video, but this is it for Sun and Saturday. Let me know what you think down below. And the riddle of the day is, what is a pirate's favorite color? Comment down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!